Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Raph Rox, and today we're going to be reviewing the Armored Batman from Mafix DC. Looking great. Got the logo of the comic series right here. You got some product shots there. Open window of the box right there. DC logo here. Got the side uh, art here. It's looking really nice. Promotional stuff in the back with some alternative heads, product shots, more accessories, some more product shots here. Not much in the top and on the bottom you can tell it's authentic due to the sticker right here. Yeah, this is looking pretty great. It's still in the box, so let's get this out of the packaging. Here's a figure out of the packaging. This shit is looking fantastic. Feels great. I, I, I was completely shocked about this figure. Like, complete. It's so damn good. Move on to the posability, the details, and the accessories. The posability on this bastard is honestly up. It's absurdly good. Like, holy hell. Head can look up that far. Holy hell. His da head can look down that far. Really good. He can move side to side and tilt. It it it's it just what? Wow. You would think that he won't be able to crunch like the other Batman, but you'd be f mistaken. You'd be mistaken. You'd be mistaken! Because of that, he has a diaphragm joint there and there. I get a f crease here, but I don't give a shit. It blends with the wrinkles. Suck my dick. So with that, you get swivel side to side. You get really good tiltage side to side. You got an amazing arc that shows off that posterior of his ass. And it's really good on the fucking arms. You would think these would be absolute horseshit. Nope. They move in. They move out that far. Because this little joint here in the bottom is very weirdly sculpted. I don't even know how to fucking describe it. But it's pretty damn good. And if you move his arms, it can go up and down. It's bicep cut right here where the little uh, bicep fucking hammer is. But look at these butterfly joints in their range. Holy f You got double jointed elbows that go in that far. I, I thought they were going to be like this, but no. They, they go in just slightly under 90 degrees or 90 degrees if you push it hard enough. Really good. Like every other Mayfix figure, you can move the wrist up and down because of the ball hinge thingy. Boop, boop, boop. You got a swivel here. If you turn to do it right, you get side to side motion. Now he looks like he's jerking off. This one is also a beautiful spray! He has drop down hip features, which is really nice. Makes him look taller, Makes helps out with posability. You got a thigh cut here. This is quite the this is the most smoothest mafix i have ever felt it feels so good you got double jointed knees that go in that far holy sh just 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 barely above 90 degrees just barely got these little weird looking ankles <laughs> it looks kind of goofy but it's pretty damn good because you get uh swivel on the top and the bottom you can get a really 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 good fucking <laughs> pivot you can move them up and down, really nice. These feet are f sharp, like, ouch. And you got a toe bend that moves up and down. Oh. God damn, this is f stiff. Like the other Batman, you get the wire and the cape just on these sides and none on the back. But look at this! What the f is the other one? Are you shitting me? Compared to this, this is godly. This is how it's supposed to look. And it's so f clean, so good. Some people complain about this uh, cloth type of material. I personally love it. Feels great, doesn't feel like sh doesn't make it look poofy like that piece of shit. And it's so damn good. The looks on this is so good. You get the wrinkles on his tum tum. You got the wrinkles around his crotch area. You got some good f wrinkles and different like uh, grays on the leg joints. Sh you got these, even the wrinkles sculpted into the joints right here, and they get hidden just right. Just, like, come on, that looks so damn good. This looking, honestly, like, metal and also puffiness. It looks really nice. I'm loving the collar area. It looks really, really good. This is just a bright yellow. There's not even, I don't even think there's any dry brushing on this bitch, but why would you? This, this is like straight out of the fucking comics from a lot of these panels. This is looking really good. My only complaint is that, uh, why isn't the cape 
like glued down or you know hidden to remove all this bullshit. That's, that's I say that's like my only complaint with how the figure looks because it sometimes looks like it's poofing out and it looks bad. I want it to be like resting so flush. Well, that happens. So I guess that's that's one big complaint I have. But let's get the fuck out of here. Let's continue on to those accessories. All right, the accessories with this is pretty damn good. I really like these. Uh, not as much as any other Mayfix like the previously uh, reviewed Batman, but these are pretty good, pretty good. Let's start off with his uh, alternative head. It's looking really good. They don't have that stupid line thing that the, the previous Batman has, but it's looking really nice. Um, I'm loving, loving the material on this. Very solid, very durable. Luckily, these don't really hurt. The other ones didn't hurt either, but this is pretty good. A little chin just sticks out of this, so <laughs> it kind of looks goofy, but I like it. It looks really good. Really, really, really good. There's a bit of a paint blob right there, and that's kind of bothering me. It's not fully painted on the teeth. But you got this really amazing unmasked head sculpt of uh, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne when he's older, old kind to really well done. Like I'm loving the little the little details in these eyes. Little tiny dots like any other face printing technology bullshit. But it's really good. Loving the gray that we, we got for this. Looking really, really fine and dainty. You got these like very different type of hands where you can connect the uh, the little acid coming out of his hand, holy weird canister that I still don't know about. I haven't. I don't think I was paying attention when watching the movie or you know learning about the comics. But get fucked, suck my balls. I like how we have this because this one's really, really easy to put the hands back on and off. It, it, like a lot of them have them now, but why? What the fuck? You got like one of the most useless fucking hands out there. Like these are supposed to be like gun holding hands, right? But DC doesn't allow guns in their figures anymore so what is the point of having this if we can't have that fuck up in the sonic boat sure we do <laughs> what the fuck calm relax hands are really really well done really really love all the sculpting on it like every other ones but i, I just kind of wish we had a little bit more hands but it's, it's good it's good Got these open palm, like grabby looking, like action hands. They're really, really well done. Love all the little wrinkles and the like paneling and sculpting and painting all the way. It's really, really good. Durable as well. You got the acid little effect you can just plug in with the other hand. It's really, really good, really good. It will work perfect when I get that Superman. You got this thing. I forget what the. F was used for, um, but it's looking really good. I'm loving the paint details here. Well, it's not really the paint details, it's just the silverness, quite reflective. You can see my finger there. And I love this translucent uh, plastic for like the smoke or whatever this bear shit This looks like a big see through Cheeto. Now, time for some size comparisons of other DC figures that I barely have because I'm barely getting into it, so shut the fuck up, suck my dick. Farland's the Batman. Mattel's Shazam, Mattel's Dr. Zavanna, other Mayfix figures, starting with my Mayfix Far From Home Spider-Man, Mayfix John Wick, Dark Knight Returns Batman, Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash again, a Lego Batman. This figure is really, really fucking good. I, I, I really do like it. It's just, I guess my only complaint is that, um, your tape, boosh, you're like, oh, you could have tucked it in because that just looks goofy. That looks sexy. But I, I feel like that is honestly my only complaint about this. <laughs> I do I do don't like the both Batman figures having this really sharp. Fu ah, fu fu it really hurts. It really does hurt. But it, holy, is it an amazing figure? I feel like this figure is really good. Uh, but with, besides a little cape issue thing that I don't really like, I will give it a solid. Solid. In <laughs> I give it an 8. I give it an 8 because it didn't come with the fucking gun. Come on, DC, you pieces of shit. Fucking cunt. Why can't you just give us what we want, you sons of bitches? You gave us the Batman. Give us more. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time. You got to swing, but you got to save your soul. Swing, but you got for it gets old. When troubles get.